Hello there everybody thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. So this time let's talk a little bit about movies and in fact this year in 2023 there are five films on exorcism to be released by Hollywood about the very subject that I often talk about here on my channel. Well, we've already seen the release of two, The Pope's Exorcist and Nefarious. As for the first movie, The Pope's Exorcist, you know it's not good if a real-life exorcist calls it dishonest and profoundly disappointing. It's another movie that's riding on the typical Vatican haters syndrome that the Catholic Church is the throne of evil on earth. And some of the written comments on my videos in this channel really prove my point. On a day when I feel motivated, I try to respond and reply to those comments. So back to the two movies, here's what an actual exorcist has to say about the movie. Um, so I found it profoundly disappointing because really what it goes after, what Russell Crowe and Sony Pictures are going after there is straight horror. It's, it's a horror movie. It's not rooted in reality. It's rooted in let's just create something that gets you spooked while you're in the theater. And that kind of exhilaration some people appreciate. I don't appreciate it. Um, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't work for me. But, but I found, frankly, um, the way that it was marketed, there was a dishonesty about that. And I found that distasteful. Uh, what is presented is not accurate. Um, he, the, the conspiracy that uh, the Vatican is hiding, that there was, there was a pact made by the devil centuries ago and, and it's hiding, I mean, it's just a product of the imagination. But on the other hand, Father Carlos Martins is full of praise for the movie Nefarious and even goes as far to saying that the script is genius. Whereas other movies are focused on the power of the devil, Nefarious, on the other hand, is a profoundly brilliant in terms of its dialogue in which the demonic intellect is presented and it takes the audience into the mind of the demon where he is in such a way that you are able to appreciate the conundrum that he wraps his victim under. I can't really speak highly enough about it. So the, the, the script is, is a work of genius. It is not interested in presenting the demonic rage the kind of the, the 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 manifestations that we are used to in a movie of exorcism levitations and objects being thrown and grotesque language and and disgusting things um th there's none of them there's not a single four-letter word in the movie uh there's no sex scene there's no gratuitous car chase and there's no kind of conspiracy and plots that are useless uh, weaved into the movie. What there is, is a profoundly, geniusly written dialogue in which the, 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 demonic, the demonic intellect is presented and it takes the viewer into the mind of the demon where he is in such a way that you are able to appreciate the conundra that he wraps his victim under.